Hey guys, it's Reese. If you guys want to see how I created this Coachella inspired makeup look that took me around an hour, <laughs> then keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Reese, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a Coachella inspired makeup look. And I know I don't normally do makeup looks on my channel, but I love makeup. I it's just fun and it is no Coachella for me. I wish I was in Coachella, but currently I'm in Toronto and it's April and this is what it looks like outside. Yeah. Snow on the ground and it's just a little crazy. I would have made this video later because I ordered a ring light that's only going to be here in a few days and Coachella is happening now, so we are doing this now. And I'm wearing this floral romper from either American Eagle or Hollister. I don't remember, but I don't know. I felt like it was super Coachella-y and, you know, flowers and yeah. And I'm sitting on it. <laughs> Decided that to put my hair back, we're going full out Coachella-y. And um, yeah, so uh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> that did not work how I wanted it to, but you know, whatever. It looks kind of cute, you know? Coachella-y. And please don't mind this pimple I have on my face there. Just don't mind it. Okay, if you guys saw my Instagram story, I did a Coachella look and it was really quick, fast, and I said I would do a more full-on tutorial on my YouTube channel, which is what I'm going to do now, and I think we're going to start off with the eyes, but before that, we got to moisturize our skin. Um, I don't use a primer because I don't find primers do much. I find moisturizers work great. This one's from my dermatologist, actually. It's called Complex 15 Daily Face Cream. It's got oil-free, hypoallergenic, not greasy. It's just, you know, it's good. I don't have ring light right now, but I feel like the natural lighting is doing just fine. And once again, I don't have an eye primer, so I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am going to take my concealer brush, this one right here, and just put that all over my eyelid as an eye primer. And that's that. I think I'm gonna unzoom you guys a little because I feel like it's like too zoomed in. Now I'm gonna be using the MAC Cosmetics Light Neutral Palette. It looks like this. And I'm going to take a blending brush. This is from the Tarte Unicorn Collection. And this is the blending brush. It's like $50 for a few brushes and I think it's worth it. And I'm gonna take these three shades here. One, two, and three. They're all very neutral. There's like a pinky, like a cream, and a taupe and just use that all over my lid as a base. I'm using the same brush because I only have one blending brush, but you know, I should probably get some more of those. Uh, I'm gonna be using the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Looks like this, it's a really good palette. And I'm gonna be taking the shade um, Venetian Red, just putting it on the crease. Well, in the crease. And I Okay, now that that is all blended how I want it to, I'm gonna take the shade Love Letter, which is this shade right here, and put that on the crease, but just a bit lower than the first shade that we put. I'm gonna take the Shape Tape Concealer once again, and I'm going to be putting it on that same concealer brush, and we're going to put it on the lid to make the shadows, the next shadows that we put on top, more pigmented and to get rid of any fallout from the previous shadow. Just like that. I know it looks a little bit crazy, but it will all make sense once you see what I do next. Using the Urban Addictions palette, I'm going to be taking this brush here and going into the color Backfire. And it's just this purpley shade, and I'm going to be putting it on the outer corner of the lid, like that. I'm going to go in with a shade from Stila Cosmetics, and it is called Kitten, and it's this shade that actually broke and I had to fix it, but you know, all that aside. And it looks like this, and it's just a shimmer shade, and it's really, really pretty. And I am going to take my Mario Badescu skincare water. I forgot to prime my face with this, but whatever. I'm going to take the Tarte Unicorn brushes, and I'm just going to give it one spritz just to make it a little... Two spritzes. Just to make it a little wet so that um, the product sticks onto it more and makes it more pigmented. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner of the crease. 
My camera out of store, ran out of storage, so it might be zoomed in a little bit differently. But I'm going to try to make it not different, because, yeah. That's how it should look at the moment. I feel like it looks good, really Coachella-y. Um, and I'm going to go back in with the purple shade and make it even more intense, because I feel like it's not as intense as I would like it to be. Now it's much more intense, and there is a bit of fallout, which is why I like doing the eyes first, because then you can always clean up your base after and then I'm just going to take my blending bl brush and sort of make it a little more blended so everything's not like crazy. I'm going to go do this eye and I will be right back so uh, I would say they look pretty similar. I tried my very best. I would say that it was pretty hard trying to make them look identical but I did my very best. I'm going to go in with the Tarte BB Tinted BB Tinted Treatment. It's a 12 hour primer also so this is a primer cream and it's in the shade medium this beauty blender it's not a real beauty blender it's actually a five dollar one from h&m don't kill me don't judge me i actually just ordered a real beauty beauty blender this one's a little more stiff but i mean it does the job so i'm not mad at it and i'm just gonna take some of the bb cream on a beauty blender whoa you know it's dark but it like when i put it on my skin because it's more of a tinted primer it just blends in nicely. Now this is super Coachella-y, but it is not working for me right now. Much better. Just keep on blending. This is what my face looks like currently, and I am going to actually do my brows now. I use the... I can't find the cap. It disappeared literally a few minutes ago. Um, but I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, and it is... It's just like so good and first I brush out my brows, make it darker like that, and then I'll do the other brow. I know it looks like super crazy right now, but what I do is I take the spoolie and I br blend it all in like this. And I blend it all in to make it look more natural. See, now they look a bit more natural. I'll unzoom a bit. They look a little crazy in my camera right now. I don't know why. I think I got some powder here. That's why we clean it up. And then I'm going to take this Joe Fresh. Um, it's called the Universal Brow Tint. It comes in one shade. And I don't know. It just makes everything look more neat and precise. I'm going to clean up my brows using not the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm actually going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because I find that my eyes, my eyes, my forehead gets really um, dry right here. And I'm just going to carve it out like that to blend and blend and blend. And I'm actually, instead of tracing this whole second brow, I'm literally just going to take the excess, which there is a lot of excess, of what was from the other brow and just use it on this side. Next I'm going to do concealer and I'm going to be using the Shape Tape Concealer and this goes a long way. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to make a triangle under my eye. And Shape Tape Concealer dries quickly so I'm going to try using it fast and then I put a little bit on my forehead just like that and then I put some down my nose a bit on my chin definitely got to cover up this pimple here and just in any spots that need to be covered up and I just blend it in looking really good with the concealer and the BB cream. I am going to go in with bronzer and currently I don't have an amazing bronzer. I actually use a powder foundation that's just darker than my skin tone and it's the Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation in number 7 from Smashbox. As you can see it's just darker than my skin tone and I mean it works really well but I really want to get a new one so I'm really debating on the Hula one. Hula or something else, but I just put it in those cheekbones, like so, 
And then I don't like when under my eyes is like super white. So I actually take some bronzer and I put it under my eyes because I don't like when it's like too light. So I take it up on the top and then blend it down because I don't like when it's too light. And I think that's all I'm going to do there. The Fenty Beauty Matchstick. And this is in the shade Latte. And I am just going to put some of that over here on my cheekbone. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but trust me, it'll all be fine. I just put some on my forehead. Blend, blend. Bring it down a bit. Blend, 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 blend. And I am actually going to set my under eyes and here below my cheekbones with the Patrick Star Times MAC collection. And I am just going to press that into my skin, like so. And I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. All right, I've had it sitting on for quite a bit of time, and I'm gonna take my unicorn brush from Tarte. This is a really fluffy one. Uh, I'm going to use the MAC blush in the shade Blush Baby and just put that all over the apples of my cheeks. And I use the Artist Couture Highlighter in the shade Illuminati. Oh! And I let the magic happen. Just going to put a bit, oh, I guess a little bit more than a bit on the tip of my nose. Master Palette by Mario. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration with Makeup by Mario. Who This palette and, well, there goes the brush from inside of it. And I'm gonna take this blue shade on right here. And it's called Claudia along the lower lash line. Like that, like so. Put it on along there. Stila kitten eyeshadow and put that over top to make it more of an iridescent blue and less of a dark dramatic blue. See now it just looks more iridescent, pop in your face. The NYX liquid illuminator and I'm gonna take a q-tip. I am going to make dots tracing the shape of my eyebrow. Oh, there is an example. One side done. I'm gonna make dots going down to my forehead, just connecting to there with the same NYX liquid illuminator. Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. Yeah. CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. It is the orange one. And I am going to use this over top of what I just did. Done with the eyes and this whole section of my face using the Bite Lip Primer. Max Velvet Teddy Lipstick. It's a nude lip for this crazy look. The Makeup Forever Setting Spray. It's the professional, it's the Mist and Fix. And this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any more makeup video suggestions that you guys want me to do, I will for sure do them. I love doing them. It is so much fun. And I'm gonna have my ring light next time so it'll be even better lighting. And we are at like a thousand, almost a thousand hundred subscribers, and that is crazy to me. Just crazy. Um, and if you guys could give this video a big thumbs up, go comment down below what you thought about this video. Go follow me on Instagram at official Reese's. I'll put all my handles down below. Snapchat is at Reese28204. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you see when I post a new video. And yeah, I'll do a little video montage on how this looks. So uh, let's see that right now. Woo.